Hey, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're ending Masechus, not Masechus, Perichah Beis, Masechah Shabbos, almost ending Masechah Shabbos. 22nd Perich Masechah Shabbos. Mishnah is Hey and Vav. Hey, Aroch is Mei Ma'ara. We made Tveria. Let's say you go to a cave or you go to hot springs in Tveria. Maybe on Shabbos. When you stop it, you're allowed to go to the hot spring on Shabbos. You're allowed to go into a cave and go swimming. Maybe not a pool. But now you want to dry yourself off. You're already wet. I feel bad. You don't even take 10 towels. You shouldn't. Um, you're, you should, you're should. you allowed to dry yourself. But you shouldn't carry them back home. Because you might squeeze it out. And if squeezing it out, it's like laundering. right? If you have 10 people and you only have one towel. It happened to me. I went to. The only time I went to the Ariz Mikvah in uh, Svas. I was there. And I had a towel, my friend didn't. I had five shekel to buy a towel and to rent a towel. He didn't. So we both shared the towel. I was down five shekel. He didn't lose any money. Uh, I'm telling you that, that Ari Mikva shaking in there, freezing water. It's, it's, it's more cold than it actually is. I don't know. So I've been out them talking about Luntazakas. Ten people have been drawing with one towel. You can't dry your entire body, but you can dry, you know, the essential, your hands, your feet, and your face. And you're allowed to carry it in your hand. The reason, right, 10 towels, one person not allowed to carry is because you might squeeze it out. But 10, one towel for 10 people, we're not worried about them squeezing it out. Why aren't we worried? The Rav says a reason because there's 10 people that remind each other. I have a little bit of a different reason. I'll tell you in the image. See on Vav, Sachin Mashmashin Amlin. You can anoint yourself. You can rub oil on yourself. Even though some people think you can't rub oil on yourself, that it's considered <coughs> to be a malacha, a malacha of of uh, I don't know what the malacha is. Um, rubbing oil on yourself, talking about rubbing medication on yourself. Maybe it's a, a, a lash making a concoction. I don't think rubbing oil on yourself, olive oil, baby oil, it's a problem. Mash machine. You're allowed. The name I am. You're allowed when you wipe yourself to you go to the bathroom. You're allowed um, to use baby wipes and things like that. Aval lo Ms. Amlin. But you can't, Ms. Amlin means you can't go in a sauna on Shabbat. Lom is guarded, right? And here they have this thing called Chamas Goder. Um, it's a place, you know, it's like a hot spring in the north but of Israel, where it's very muddy on the part. Um, you can't go into a place like that because it smells bad. It's not enjoyable. In Jordan, even though it helps your body, but it smells bad. And you're in the Kordima. And similarly, to go in a place where there's a lot of mud on the floor, it'll make your feet very dirty. You can't go. The ain't osin apitavizu, and you can't make something, a concoction, that will make you throw up. Now, to take a concoction to make you throw up, you could. But to make it, that's a malacha alisha, which is a malacha rafu. Of ain ma'atan es If you have a child, and you want to crack the child's knuckles, you can't do that. Ain ma'achzirin es hashever. You can't, if a bone gets displaced, you can't, set the bone. This actually happened to me on a Friday afternoon. My radius and my ulna were snapped in half when I played hockey. I don't know exactly. I just ended up on the floor and they were snapped in half. I went Friday night and they were set. Thank God I didn't need any uh, screws. So the halacha, the Gemara says that you could do it. We don't pause like this. Mishnah. Mishnah is partly on the If you dislocated your hand and your foot, lo yit your famous sewing. You shouldn't run them and hold it hot in cold water. Allah roke to Gadarko. What you should do, this is a recommendation for a fool. You should go into a bath, even though normally I take a bath. You'll have to take a bath for this. From this rap and this rap, if it gets healed, it gets healed. Because this is the right way to treat it. The, the reason you're not supposed to put it in hot water, in cold water. Cold water helps maybe you jammed your finger. Or maybe if you've got a bruise, so put it, or you got a bump on your head, so put it in cold water or take some ice. However, if you have a dislocated hand, dislocated foot, the best thing is to take a shower or a bath and... You know, soften the area, and if it gets healed, it gets healed. And you're probably even allowed to just put it back in place. Like we said, Mark, if you can put a bone back in place, certainly a dislocated shoulder or a dislocated arm or foot, you can put it back in place. Again, the Torah is not Achzari. The Torah don't want to be cruel. If you have a serious injury, you can take care of these things on Shabbos. In fact, the mission is telling you the best way to take care of these things on Shabbos is not Rafu. Rafu is making this concoction on Shabbos, something out of chemicals. Which is a commercial process, which you shouldn't be doing on Shabbos. Stay tuned for Ian Mitzion coming up next.